So uh, bar in the arm or uh, drop in the hands, a lot of those have um, some of the same causes. All right, the, one of the chief causes is that the kid's not, or the athlete's not pulling slack out. And by that, they're not creating some kind of tension in their loading mechanism. So if you're not creating some kind of tension, or if a kid's a really loose mover, like a lot of young kids are, um, if you look at like usually thin, uh, young kids are loose movers, especially girls, what's happening is, is they're just loose. It's like a floppy rubber band. Um, hold on. So it's just flopping around like this. So we got to pull that tension out to get some kind of snap. So if they're not pulling that out, what's going to happen is they're going to be here and then they're going to pull this way. They're going to create that because in the, in the swing the right way, what's going to happen is that tension is going to create naturally and that front arm is going to work up. And that's, that's what's going to keep our elbow separated and create spacing. So try to figure out, is it an upper back? If it's an upper back strength issue, they're not going to be able to hold that scat back. Um, if it's another muscular issue, like pulling tension out, they're not going to be able to do it either. They're going to create that tension by barring their arm this way to swing. All right? So those are two issues that you can keep an eye on. As far as drills go, there's a lot that they can do. I'm going to do another video uh, for Baseball Rebellion on this, and I'll send that to you as well. But some of the easiest ones that I've done is I'm right here like this. You know, pre-step, pre-load, have the arms already set. So we're working on keeping that elbow spacing this way. And we're just trying to turn. I mean, you can work various pitches. So we're just working elbow spacing here. And you can even start with the front heel up on a T, front toss, whatever. And then your trigger there is just drop and go, just drop and go this way. That's an old one that I've used for years. Uh, something that I've used the last couple years is a split grip. And then with this plate, what I'll do is I'll have them start at a three-quarter stance this way, split grip here, and then we go to just contact, all right? And then as they get really good, if they have mobility, I try to keep their back heel on the ground. But the big key here is keeping the focus on keeping the elbow split, and then also staying connected this way so they're not pushing the barrel bad, good. That's where we want to be. And we stop at contact with that split grip. Then we go normal stance. So we're normal, same thing, split grip. And then we'll go normal, uh, normal grip here with the same thing. You can go three quarter or regular stance. And we're trying to stop at contact. Okay, walk them through nice and slow as they get the feel for it. Then you can have them go hard. The next step, which is even more difficult, is to go three quarter swing. So you have your regular stance here. Instead of stopping at contact, we're trying to come all the way through to this point. All right, so instead of stopping here, we're going all the way here. And that's gonna hopefully get them to hold. I love these check swings. I start slow with them off the tee. I'll do front toss with them. What I'll do is I'll say, all right, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go full swing, check swing. We'll go full swing off a tee or front toss. Then we'll stop check. Okay, PVC sticks, great to use. I also like using heavy bats. Um, so something that's 20, 25% heavier than the bat you're using. Those are great, that's a great one. Um, another one is just to take the PVC stick and just work turns, front shoulder down and in. Boom, just finish the turn and just talk to them about feeling that. Um, and then various, various upper back strengthening exercises like and pull aparts, or if you have a J-band or something, something you can clip on and just rows, just to feel that. Um, there's some other ones we can do that I'll show you in that other video. But those check swing drills, and that, um, I'm not really even sure what this, this is pre-slotted drill where you're just slotted here, coming through. And then another one that's really good um, to work that, so we're not pushing the barrel, because that's another thing. They'll get here and then they'll want to push the barrel, or they'll drop this way is to just have them get this feel here. Just have them, let it wrap around the head a little bit and then just give, have them get this feel. So you were snapping, you can even do it in front, snapping back this way. And then put, this, put it in the swing. But the snap, a lot of times they're gonna wanna do top hand and they're not gonna do this, this arm, this lead arm. So really work, you can even work, if you cut this in half, you could work 
boom, that snap. But you want to be here, here. And I'll tell the kids, especially with the split grip, try to break the bat in half right there. Just try to break it in half. Get that feel, try to break it in half. And that gets them to really snap. So you can do the same thing here. Just break in half, snap. Break in half, snap. And you want that snap to happen back behind you. You don't want the snap to happen in front. Um, they have those click sticks. Uh, if you have one of those, you can use it. Don't click out in front. Click deep. The deeper and the louder it is, the more we're getting that snap at the right time. Uh, what else is there that we can do? Uh, there's some tools that you can use in the arms. I don't have one made yet uh, with PVC sticks or PVC piping. Um, but those check swings are really good. I've, I've had a lot of success with that. I've had a lot of success with um, using that snap, you know, just boom, feel it this way, and then turn and even stop at contact. So you can combine them any way you feel fit. All right, hope that helps.